ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming up tonight. We've all sat through one of the long presentations, like when the person just goes on and on and on and things just take far too long. So tonight is the antidote to all that. So tonight we're going to try a new, new style. Now the reason why we came to this position is a couple of us went to a presentation a while ago where it was the usual thing. You stand around, you get a cup of tea, you go and see a bunch of presentations and they drag on and on and on, 45 minutes, an hour, whatever. And it got us thinking, why are the presentations so boring? The thing about these, these uh, network nights though is that the networking makes it worthwhile to go along. So it's a bit of a dilemma. You go along because of the networking, but the presentations become a chore. So we have to think about how we can make things different. Why don't we turn things around and do them the other way around? Why not start with the networking? And that's why we made a conscious decision tonight to ask you guys all to come along at 5.30 and then start at 6.30. We have a bit of networking beforehand. So start with something fun rather than starting with something that's a chore. Now I've got me thinking as well, something like James Bond, the new James Bond film coming out, I can guarantee that it's going to start with something exciting. It's going to start with a car crash, or an explosion, or a gunfight. He's not going to start with something boring, and that's what we need to think about for our presentations. Start with something exciting. So this is how we normally start a GIS presentation. We say, I'm going to tell you all about my brand new product, but in fact we talk about ourselves. We say, my company was formed in 1843. We don't really care, the audience doesn't care, because you don't actually know what it is that they do yet. And yet we always talk about ourselves to start off with. The other thing we do right at the start before we talk about what it is we're going to talk about is these are our other clients. Australia Post, Coca-Cola, Starbucks. Now I work for a small department in the state government. If you tell me that you work with Starbucks or Coca-Cola, it makes you think you're probably not relevant to me. You're probably doing something that I'm not that I don't need to do. The other the other hang I have is when you see the agenda slide like this one, where they go through and show you every bullet point where you're up to. What if the guy's been talking for an hour and a half and he's only got to start out? Shit, we've an hour. So we don't want to do that. We want to think a bit more like the movies. We want to be a bit more exciting right from the start and grab your attention and be nice and short and sharp and not really labor the point. That's really the whole idea of tonight, is to be really quick. Okay, so the way that we do that is basically cut out the stuff you don't need. Work out what it is you're trying to show. What are you trying to what are you trying to tell me tonight? What is the point of you coming on talking? And say that and just cut out the rest. Don't talk about what happened in the back story. Just start in the middle and tell us what you need to tell us. Now this is a slide that we saw a couple of weeks ago at a conference in, in Canberra. I don't want to back the guy because it was a really good speech. He gave a great presentation. But we went through in a lot of detail about all the different parts of the government and how they work together. And as a member of the audience, I don't really care, it doesn't really matter to me. What he was trying to say is that the government needs to work better so that if something happens like your house burns down, you don't have to tell all the different departments what happens. You just tell your story once and then we deal with the rest. That's an example of what we're trying to do here tonight. Just cut to the point and say what it is you're trying to say. So think of it a bit like an elevator pitch. You might have a great 45 minute or one hour presentation, but you don't always have an hour to show it. Sometimes you've only got five minutes or 45 seconds. You need to be able to cut it down and say the essence of what it is you're trying to say very, very quickly. So it'd be like an elevator pitch. And that's what we're doing tonight. Now working in technical, we love demos. I love giving demos. I love seeing a really good demo. But one of the problems with demos is they can, they can become a training session. They, they can become a training course. What you guys want to see tonight is how something works, what it does. Not, it's not exactly what steps you need to go through. So this is an example of a typical label and demo. Open up the properties dialog. And here I can change the name of the property if I want to. On the source app, I can change the source. It could be a shapefile, it could be a G database, it could be an SE, it doesn't matter, it could be anything. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to label. So I open up the labeling tab, and here I set the color of the symbology of the label. Really easy, right? Then I go into the next panel here, and here's where I can set the properties of that label. That could be based on anything. It could be capital, it could be lowercase, it could be a mixture of both, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to set a label mask. It's really easy, really, really simple to set a label mask. So I open up the properties here, and I go to the color here, and I can change the color to anything I want. It doesn't really matter what the color is. It could be yellow, it could be blue, it could be green, any color you want. It's really, really simple. I'm going to set a yellow color here. So here I go click, 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 and you can see a label halo mask. Great demo, right? That's the kind of demo that we typically do, though. I'm not really exaggerating. What we should be doing is something like this. Can you do a label mask? Yeah. Here's what it looks like. And I show you the result. I don't show you the process of how I got to that result. Because as an audience member, you shouldn't care about how I got to that. So, tonight, how are we going to change these things and switch around them? We're going to try a new format here, the Ignite format, which is 20 slides. Each slide lasts for 15 seconds, and that gives you a total of 5 minutes. So you know that the person talking is guaranteed to last for 5 minutes exactly. So even if they suck, at least they're not. <laughs> 
what we'd like is, at the end of the night, for you guys to say, not only was the networking excellent, but the presentations were fantastic. We really want to change things around, turn it on its head. The presentation should become part of the fun, not an ordeal that you have to get through before you get to the drinks. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to Ignite Special. Thank you very much for coming along. And we're going to kick off now with the first of the presentations.